Next. Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up guys? So today I just want to repair or to replace the O-ring uh, on my Atomisa M22. Uh, there's a problem with an O-ring which is found somewhere here where we insert the clip rope. It's this leaking air. So I just want to replace it. And then the most important thing to do before uh, doing anything on the gun or starting to repair the gun is to make sure that you depress the gun. And then what I do right now is to remove the studs and so that I can access the, the bleed belt on the on the on the on the gun. Then after that, that's where I start to uh, to ask you this part uh, on the gun. Let me show you the part. Uh, this portion. I think it's a bit dark. This portion. So let me quickly uh, remove the studs and also the screw down here, and then I dig the gun. So I've removed the stock and then this is where the bead valve is. Uh, here it is. Then right now, let's, let's, let, let, uh, yesterday when I uh, stored this gun to us on 150 bar, so today it's on 100 bar, so which means overnight I've lost uh, 50 bar. So let me quickly dig it and then after that I'll start working on this uh, area. Here it is, it's on 100 bar. I'm not sure whether I can be able to see it well. And then it's raining, today we've been blessed with rain, so it's a good day. There we go, all the air is out. Uh, so before I continue, let me dry fire once, make sure. Uh -huh. All the air is out. Yeah, let's continue. So the best way to remove this uh, this part is, is to insert uh, is to insert the screwdriver uh, on the hole where you you enter the you put the sorry you, you put the field probe and then the other thing is to make sure that the screwdriver does not go out on the other side and then after you send the screwdriver you turn it uh, anti-clockwise uh -huh. there we go then I can remove it with the with the end and then another thing is that I don't I'm not sure whether I have the uh, the exact size of the flip of the of the o-ring which is found inside here i just have a few ring o-rings and then i just have to check if i have an o-ring which will fit uh, then it will be a gamble because my my calipers battery uh, died i won't be able to measure the diameters of the of the o-ring so i just have to measure the size uh, by by laying them or putting them close to each other and then I'll see whether they make or not so the place that we know just keep on turning and then the, the other way if you if you turn anti-clockwise you can keep on turning uh, this part won't go off and then for you to know whether uh, you have reached the end of the thread is to try to wiggle it out and then uh -huh. There we go. 
so it's out somewhere inside yeah deep inside there there's an o-ring all i have to do they say screw you just have to uh, remove the screw and then below the screw there's an o-ring okay so you can use a flat head screwdriver So they will be able to see it, but there it is. Okay. So here it is. Have the screwdriver and the o-ring which is damaged i'm not quite sure if you'll be able to see hey where is it i'll get the yeah. the insides the inside of the o-ring is a bit best all right so what i have to do is to find the replacement o-ring which is the exam exit then it has this one and then uh, put it inside there and screw the screw Yeah, I think I found the right size and then before putting the the, the o-ring down there on the screw you can apply a bit of silicon oil so that can uh, easily move to its rightful place or position And then what's left now is to uh, uh, put back the screw and move this down there. So putting back the screw uh, to the rightful place can be can be a bit challenging because the only way to control uh, the screw back into the hole, uh, where you have to uh, screw it, is by using a screwdriver. So let me continue to fight. So the screw is back in, and then when you when you put the screw back in, you don't have to over tighten it. Just have to slightly make or gently tighten it, not that much, just a bit. And then maybe when it switches or when it stops to turn, then you just let go. Then let me put back uh, this part or the gauge area back into the cylinder and then make sure that you also uh, add silicon oil uh, on the o-rings on this part there's an o-ring there before inserting it back into the, the cylinder
So before anything, uh, what you can do is to fill up the gun and check if uh, there's any any leak. So let me just go and get my scuba tank and then I'll fill the gun and see if it's properly sealed and fixed. There you go, so that's how you fix the leak uh, when the air is coming out of the hole where you insert the fill probe. And then right now, I think everything is in order. Uh, all I have to do right now is to check whether uh, the, the leak was properly uh, fixed. And then if it's properly fixed, then the, the gun is ready to go out for the hunt. So the only way to find out if it's properly uh, sealed is to go and get the scuba tank or if you have a pump is to pump the gun maybe to certain uh, uh, pressures 150 200 bar and then you check if the air is still or is is is, is not moving from 200 bar or the, the air is not leaking out and then the other way or the best way to find out if you are not finding any fault maybe after fixing the gun is to let the gun uh, overnight and then check it early in the morning if the pressures are still uh, where you left them uh, the previous day. There we go. Right now, I can't hear any air missing out of the of the hole. And then the other thing, uh, because maybe you, uh, you, uh, you disassemble the gun and then you will fill it from zero. Don't forget to to cock uh, the gun because if you don't cock the gun, the air will come out of the barrel. So that's another thing that you have to take into consideration. Or you can just start by filling. If there's no air coming out of the barrel, it's okay. But if you hear air coming out of the barrel, you have to cock the gun first and then fill it. Then everything will be okay. So it's 150. Let me put it overnight and then I'll see what happens in the morning. If it's still 150, then everything is okay. Everything is in order. Then that's how you do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me put the camera like this. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to, to subscribe, to like, comment, 
then let's keep on sharing ideas let's keep on sharing uh, content i know that uh, you always support me so please guys like the video comment and subscribe and then more content is coming and then that's what i'll keep on doing